Welcome to an evening prayer service in the manner of Tizé. I am the Reverend Mary Meadows, and I am here virtually with Sally Mossy, the Director of Music here at Sylvania United Church of Christ, and with Anne Lindsley and Jean Buckwell. We hope that you find this service of prayer, of song, and of silence meaningful as you prepare for the days to come. This is the centering prayer for today. Loving, comforting God, thank you for imbuing us with your love, peace, and grace. In a stressful moment, we center our awareness on your divine presence that lives in us and expresses through us. We accept your divine presence as perfect love, life, and wisdom. It is calming to know that no one or no thing can disturb our peace. It is near as the next breath or the next thought. We release all fear and tension and embrace your peace. Your peace radiates through our beings, clarifies our thoughts, and calms our emotions. May we use this season of Lent to renew our deep commitment to you 
accepting and extending all you give. Amen.
Dear God, Spirit of Peace, as we seek to become more aware of your will for our lives tonight, may we find ourselves tapping into the mind of Christ, our teacher and our guide. May we let go of seeing ourselves as the all-important source in our thinking, and instead let the Christ Spirit lead us into new thought patterns as we breathe in our real source, the light that only you can give, may we be emptied of expectations of what must be and consider the possibility that what is can be everything we really need. Indeed, may we learn that letting go of our own wants can lead to a greater awareness of your presence and the ability to see others' needs as connected to our own. Help us to be daily more capable of seeing how connected we are to others, even those we would first see as very different from ourselves. We pray for all others, and indeed for our Mother Earth, as we come to realize how interconnected we are. Our prayers go especially to these people. Dear God, our creator and sustainer, we are grateful for a community of faith that reaches wide to embrace many different ways of living out your words. We know how difficult it is to have discussions with people of varying views as we search for ideas, concepts, and actions that help us to be more faithful to your will. We ask you to increase our energy for hearing each other and loving each other, that we might become more patient and compassionate with those on the other side of the important issues we are grappling with. May we be ever more aware of the command that we love others as ourselves. We pray for openness in all our ministries and in other faith communities in our world. Surround us all with your healing energy and divine love as we seek to be the fulfillment of your kingdom here on earth. This is a prayer for the world. Precious God of us all, we acknowledge there is no world peace until all are included. If any person is not valued, peace will elude us all. We commit to treating every person as important and worthy of respect. Even if someone is unkind or rude or impatient, We treat them with peace and compassion. As we celebrate Black History Month, let us be mindful of the huge injustices that have occurred throughout our history. Let us center our thoughts on you and bring justice wherever we can. We extend your peace to the Asian Americans who are being blamed for bringing this virus to us. We recognize the unfairness of this judgment. The current political upheaval creates anger and resentment. We lift us up to your light and love. Help us do our part to share your forgiving love and respond from our divine centers. Let us lift up those who suffer from oppression and injustice. 
Amen. A blessing from Jan Richardson. In the leaving, in the letting go, let there be this to hold on to at the last, the enduring of love, the persisting of hope, the remembering of joy, the offering of gratitude, the receiving of grace, the blessing of peace.